Those lips. Those legs. And the boob. And the boob. Even those. On March 9, 1959, at the New York Toy Fair, Barbie was born straight out of the womb with long, thin legs, a perfect hourglass figure, and that snatched, seductive stare. Barbie was an instant hit. Barbie has become so popular that even humans want to be her, going extreme lengths to achieve the Barbie look and lifestyle. And we're about to meet a woman who has done exactly this. Marcella Iglesias is a real-life Barbie doll. She spent loads of money, time, and plastic to become Become just like Barbie. Today, I'm going to spend the day with Marcella to immerse myself in her Barbie world. And I'm even going to become a Barbie too. Growing up, I was obsessed with Barbies. It's something I remember as part of my childhood, but I also feel strongly that it did kind of mess me up. I had a lot of body image issues for a long time, and I think that's true for a lot of girls who played with Barbies and looked at that body on the Barbie and thought that that's what they're supposed to look like. We're outside the home of a woman named Marcella, who is a real life Barbie. She looks like a Barbie. She has had plastic surgery and procedures. I have very mixed feelings about plastic surgery because on the one hand, I am so for body autonomy and I believe that we all should do whatever we want with our own bodies. On the other hand, I feel it's very dangerous how much this has become normalized and almost like glamorized and celebrated. Marcella also had this show called The Plastics of Hollywood where she had this whole group of other human dolls and they all had tons of plastic surgery. I just find it like so fascinating and mind boggling that there's this group of people that like are obsessed with changing their bodies. We're actually gonna meet one of them later today named Justin who is considered the human Ken doll. My intention is to kind of shift my judgments, right? And to approach this with curiosity because that is really like my whole mission here on this channel. I even got Barbie nails for this. Let's go meet Marcella, our real life Barbie. She lives in a mansion. It's a real life Barbie dream house. Hi. I'm Marcella's son. What's Sorry. your name? I'm Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Hi. Sorry, I, like, I just woke up. So. You woke up like this. Yeah. Wow. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What a nice robe. Fresh face, just robe, nothing underneath. Oh. So I cannot show you. <laughs> Marcella, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How you been? I'm usually coming already when they come film me, but today, special because I want to see everybody the transformation. Looking like a Barbie, it takes a lot. So we're going to see the Barbie makeover transformation. We're going to see a little that bit. Today. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hopefully people love it. So in the meantime, do you want to show us around? <laughs> yes. Actually, I haven't seen the pigs quite yet today. I have three pot bellies. Pigs? Oh, you didn't know that? So Chewy, Belle, and Stella, they sleep here. And then Chewy, he has arthritis. They have a heater on. Are they listening to the radio? Oh, yes. They have the radio on all the time. <laughs> the pigs like the radio. Do you eat bacon? I don't eat meat. I eat eggs because my neighbors have chickens. The eggs are totally organic. I won't buy eggs on the, on the supermarket. Mm -hmm. We're going to give Chewy a piece of banana. <laughs> I can see why he's named Chewy. Oops. All right. There you go. I'm surprised how calm they are. That means you guys have really good energy. Wow. They thank know. you. We have three, four, seven, nine animals. You're right. going to be a farm girl, Barbie. I love that. I like to live like a peaceful, relaxed life. Of course, I love glam and entertaining, but I'm. I think I'm a farm person at heart. And I always love animals since I was a child. Oh, how old are you now? Oh, I never disclose my age. I can say I am from like, I want to give you 20 year difference. <laughs> 35 to 55, put it that way. I am actually in my 40s. 40s? I am in my 40s. You yeah. look amazing. It is what it is. I just try to keep young at heart and that's the most important. Even you can look amazing on the outside. If you're old inside, you reflect that. What do we have in store for today? So we're going to do the glam. I think we're going to go to the Barbie world and Santa Monica. Yay! 
Yay! Which I haven't been there. Maybe some doing some fun activities after that. So shall we continue with our tour? Of course we should, but first I need to get my glam ready because you know I have my hair purse and makeup's coming, so I just wanna look good for you. So we're gonna see the Barbie transformation. Yes, we will. Okay, let's go. Barbie was the brainchild of Ruth Handler, a visionary mother who recognized the limited choices her daughter had in toys. While her son could imagine himself as a firefighter, astronaut, or doctor, her daughter's options were limited to being a caregiver. So Ruth created Barbie. In her 1994 autobiography, Ruth wrote, My whole philosophy of Barbie was that through the doll, the little girl could be anything she wanted to be. Barbie always represented the fact that a woman has choices. But as much inspiration as Barbie has given to young girls, for decades, Barbie has also been criticized for promoting materialism and unrealistic body proportions. So I see that Angie here is putting in extensions, but is this your real hair underneath? Underneath is all my real hair. I have tons of hair, thank God. But to create the Barbie look and the glam look, obviously we need to enhance it, we need to get more volume. What inspired this fantasy to become a real Barbie? The fantasy came because my mom never bought me a Barbie doll. When I was a child, all my friends used to play with them and I used to play with the regular dolls. And I loved the aesthetic. I was enhanced to the aesthetic look. It's like, oh my God, I wanted to be the doll. I wanted to, the house, the fantasy, the husband. She got like everything that a woman or a girl wanted, right? So when I become older, I decided to make the best version of myself, Marcella, the Barbie doll. Why do you think your mom didn't allow you to have a Barbie? She, it's not she didn't allow me, she didn't like the doll because she said that the doll was a little bit like sexualized. So she thought that a girl should not play with those kind of dolls. Do you think that it's problematic to have young women seeing these visions of what they're supposed to look like? Yes, especially I grew up also in the 90s and trust me, it was so much worse. We only had the supermodels, Glamazon, Amazon women that it was basically like less than 1% of the population of the whole world. So I grew up thinking that I'm never gonna be that. This is me when I was 20, 21 years old. So I always says, let me maintain my image closer to this as I can without doing any type of enhance. This is, this is me, naturally. I don't have any procedures or anything like that. So did you ever have your lips done? I did a little bit of volume. And did you do anything else like Botox or any other Yes, procedures? of course. I do Botox maybe twice a year only. And have you had any other plastic surgery? Unfortunately, when you lose weight, especially after 40, so you're gonna have some sagging. Part of my butt, it become a little sagging. So what I did is I cut a little piece of skin and they lift the butt. So I got my first procedure actually last year. What was your first procedure? My breast, I had to, yes, because I, I lost weight and with age, everything goes down. I got an opportunity of um, a company called Sientra. They sponsored me. They said, Marcel, I think you are the right candidate because you are not doing this to have like super big breasts or you are, you're fixing a problem that most women have, especially when you become a mother. When I look at myself in the mirror, I just want to see myself. Some things I've learned to accept and some things I just want to fix it. I guess where I am having a hard time understanding or agreeing is the idea that it's a problem for a woman to have the, her breasts start to go down after she has kids. That's a normal, natural thing. Yes. And it's kind of society that tells us, oh, that's bad or wrong or that's mm. a problem. To me, it's not society. It's like I want them to look how they were before. Can you describe the plastics of Hollywood? This plastics of Hollywood was a little community that I put together about people from all over the world that wanted to look like Barbie skins, aliens, creatures, celebrities. Basically, it's the fantasy of the Barbie dollhouse. That's why I wanted to showcase their lives and trying to expose their stories because everybody has a different story why they did the procedures that they did. But at the beginning, I was not gonna be part of the plastics because I didn't have any plastic surgery. All the plastic had a lot of surgery. You didn't have anything? At that, at that time, I was really scared of plastic surgery and I saw with the plastics the pros and the cons of surgeries. People call me super plastic and I'm always says, I'm not, the only plastic that I have is like the boobs, you know. Well, we can continue this conversation throughout the day. I think yes. there's a lot to unpack here. Thank you for answering, honestly. No problem, no problem.
Your hair is looking incredible. Thank you so much, thanks to Angie. Honestly, I never do this. I never do glam. I never really do anything with my hair. I wear very minimal makeup. That's okay. Today is a special day and I wanted to look the best for you. And also I have a surprise because I want you to look the best version of yourself, okay. which are already gorgeous. Thank but imagine you. enhanced, kind of looking like a doll. So am I getting a Barbie makeover? Yes, today? you're gonna get hair and makeup done. You're gonna ah. get your glam today and also have some clothing that I, you can wear from me. Oh like my God. A, yes. So I have some clothes. You can go to my closet and pick whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm kind we of nervous. We both have to look like dolls. Okay. You're in the I'm doll in. house, so you have to look like a doll, I, right? That's why I'm here. This is my first time ever wearing fake eyelashes. How does it feel? Strange. <laughs> I feel like beautiful. I have caterpillars on my eyelids. No caterpillars were harmed in the making of this. <laughs> here we have the final look. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we finished the makeup. You're not allowed to look yet. I want to. We, no, How does no. it look? It looks amazing. But I think we should complete the look with the outfit so then you can do the big reveal. Okay, let's go let's upstairs. Let's go to the closet. Let's go to the closet. The Barbie closet. Please, oh. go upstairs. <gasps> wow. This is like the fantasy room. This is a real Barbie dream closet. Yes. Oh my gosh. You have all the designers. Everything. Yes, there are many designers here, yeah. This is something that Balmain made for the Barbie collection. Mm -hmm. And this is also from Balmain for the Barbie capsule collection. So these are very unique pieces that I love to have, even if I haven't worn them yet. Obviously, to have all of these nice things, mm -hmm. you have to have money. Some of the items are pricey and yes, they so cost a little bit. how do you make money? Well, with my family, we do real estate and stocks and we did some crypto investments. And also I work on TV shows and stuff like that. It was a struggle for many, many years. I came to America with only $3,000. I know that for a lot of people that's a lot of money, but actually it's not. I'm living the life that I work really hard to get, right? I am not a materialistic person whatsoever, but I like nice stuff and I, I just buy it. So you said you're not actually materialistic, but somebody looking around this closet and looking at you would maybe think that. Yes, of course. If you see this, you see this glimpse is, oh my gosh, she's so plastic and pink and perfect. But the person who gets to know me, like when you saw me in the morning, I have the pigs, you saw me. It's like, I am myself. I don't truly care what people think about me. I don't walk up like this, guys. This takes hours. I love to see this on me because it reminds me of the dreams that I had when I came to America. I wanted to be this person. And I wanted to create the best life for myself. So this is the dream that the real Marcella wakes up in the morning like everybody else. I'm a human being, you know? What next? So you have to pick the outfit. Oh. Let me know what you want to wear. I like this. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit hot, especially if you have to go to do some activities. This I've never worn, so you you can be Ooh. the first person that wears this. This is a nice dress. I don't know if you're that into this. Cute. It's really cute. We're the same shoe size, I think. I believe so. So I'm going to leave you alone, <laughs> and I'm gonna change. And uh oh, my other she's closet. leaving me alone. My inner child who loved dress up is so excited right now. Look at these. I'm gonna pick out my outfit and we will see you in a little bit. I know, <laughs> I know. Beauty's paint. Can I look yet? You can, there's okay. a mirror right there. Oh my God. I literally don't recognize myself. I, I know, love it. Right? You turned me into a Barbie doll. Yes. Imagine living the 365 days a, a year looking the same way. To me, it's, it's really so boring. Exactly. It is boring. And I generally do believe in like natural beauty and just yes, being your natural yes. self, but I get how this is just something fun. It's fun. You exactly. know? It's not about that I need this to go out because I, not, I don't feel pretty. This is about having fun with myself. Okay, what's next in our day? So I think we're gonna go somewhere, right? We're gonna have some fun, going to a fun place. Yeah, where are we going? Barbie World! Oh, 
1994, researchers in Finland made a startling announcement. Barbie, if she were a real woman, would lack enough body fat to menstruate. This revelation sparked a wave of discussions and demands for change. Responding to the criticism, Mattel, the creators of Barbie, introduced new body types, embracing diversity and inclusivity. They aim to ensure that every child could see themselves represented in the dolls they played with. Mattel has created all types of Barbies in the last few decades, including Barbies of all skin types, sizes, disabilities, and even a drag queen Barbie. Barbie had a Jeep, so I have to get my red Jeep, of course, and I can customize it. So I think it may be the next time it's gonna be pink, but for now, I like my Jeep red. So this is my convertible, but usually I like the Jeep a lot because it's more comfortable. Unfortunately, we're taking my Ford Fiesta. How the heck am I gonna drive with these things on? Safety first, people. We gotta take these puddies off to get us there in one piece. I feel like people are looking at us. That's okay. <laughs> We made it! We're gonna be two real Barbies and real Barbies. Absolutely. Oh my god, even the floor is like cushy. <laughs> this is the dream closet, guys. Compared to your closet, this is boring. So I think I will DJ Barb. The original guy. Barbie road trip. Hi! Hi! Find that, yeah. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, you can hear! You look so cute, babe. So we're here at the music studio, guys, right here, because I just finished my second song called It's Barbie Bitch, available in every single platform. So you are like a real Barbie, you're so many things. Exactly. You're a TV host, you're a musician, you're a celebrity. If you dream it, you can achieve it like Barbie said. Google doubt me, don't you doubt me. I live my truth and live it loudly, proudly. Fine, fierce and fabulous. It's Barbie, bitch. That was fun. That was so much fun. But yeah. Marcella, I have one question. Yes. How do you walk in these shoes? How? Because I've been training for so many years and Beauty pain, guys. Sometimes you have to put up with the pain. I'm if in you pain. Want to look good. I have blisters all well, over my don't ankles. Don't worry, girl, because we still have to go to the rollerblades. So I don't know how you're gonna do that, but oh. we're going to do it. Trust me. Rollerblades, my hey. favorite. So we just arrived in Venice Beach, and Marcella is getting into her rollerblading outfit. I figured this would be a good opportunity to just like give you guys my thoughts on the day so far. I have a lot of mixed feelings about today. This is not something I ever do, and if you guys watch my channel, you know that like I never do stuff like this. I never wore makeup like this before. We're normally doing videos about spirituality and wellness and characters that aren't like Marcella. But what I've realized is that I have this desire to go spend time with people that aren't like me, that I don't necessarily agree with. And I feel like it just makes life so much more exciting and rich and full. And then you get to have a different perspective of the world. We're about to meet somebody, one of Marcella's friends named Justin, who has been called the human Ken doll. He's gonna come rollerblading with us. And this guy has had so much plastic surgery. Like Marcella's just had a few things, but he has had so much. Like his whole body is plastic, essentially. Just to spend time with somebody like this and to understand what's motivating them and the why and, and to try and get to know him as a, a human being rather than a spectacle. I want to introduce you to my Ken doll, Justin. Hey doll, how are you? Hi Ken. He's one of my best friends. He's one of my best friends and he was one of the first ones to be part of the Plastics of Hollywood. That's wow. true. Yes. How are you doing on the skates? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting there. He hasn't skated in a while. I'm aspiring to be like Ryan Gosling. But <laughs> I have to do it. Justin, you're doing great. Justin, this okay. is part of being a Ken doll. They know to know how to skate. You look so good together. Oh, thank you. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> try without yeah, holding. Try it. without. Got this. Oh, you're good. I just want to go like this and spot him. We are protecting the Kendall instead of we the Kendall protect protecting the Ken. us. Protect the Ken. I acknowledge you for getting out here and doing something new. Oh no. 
Oh no! Now oh, come here, come here. It's easier here. I just touched your arm. It's so strong. Bruh, you would it's, think so, right? Yeah. So is this real? It's really mine now. Oh, they're all my implants. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on each side. How many implants do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all this muscle. 23. 23. Yes, we count one. 23. So all the muscle is implants. Well, not all. <laughs> Basically. Most of the beach muscles are implants. Yeah. And yeah. why do the implants instead of like go to the gym or something? Oh, it was more creative and fun. Yes. We had to like live in our own like fantasy land. I designed my own destiny. I didn't just have to accept what my parents were me into. Oh, it's fun to like reinvent yourself, no? It is fun. For sure. Do you guys want to rollerblade a little? We can we try. Can It was good. I haven't done rollerblading and roller skating in forever. Yes. I played it on my ass once already. It's okay. bound to happen. Well, you, so. have, you have support there, honey. It's not, it's <laughs> All my rubber implanted bumpers. Yeah. I, got, I got plenty. And you look amazing. Yes, thank it's you. Like this is my, pants, my girlfriend, like, Marcella. Amazing. All right. Amazing. I was trying to. <laughs> thank doing you. A great job. Do you get recognized a lot? Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's just normal now. Do you yeah. like it? It's a celebrity. Yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah, for sure. People are curious. Yeah. And overall, they're sweet in person. Not yeah. so nice online. But... <laughs> Hi. 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 Do you guys love that when that happens? Of course. Yes. Oh, the kids love it. Everyone wants to live in their own little fantasy land. Absolutely. Especially the kids. The kids, yeah. the kids will never judge. Do you think that it is good for kids to kind of see the doll like version? Like, does it? What does it do to the way that we perceive? the human body. I think the thought is that everybody's, everybody has the ability to do yeah. how, how and what they want with their body, right? You have the ability to transform your reality to, to make the, it a truth, right? The, and the kids don't know because they buy the Barbie doll at the toy store. They don't understand that maybe for us, yeah, we have to go through some procedures, but they think that we are. So they don't judge because they think that we are the real dolls in real life, right? <laughs> it's the adults that we tend to judge because it's part of the nature, yeah. you know? Do you think it's a good influence for kids to see, you know, Plastic surgery. A dolly lifestyle and plastic surgery <laughs> don't have to go hand in hand. I mean, in our case, they have a little bit, but in yeah. my life, way more than in Marcella's. Right? We did it because we wanted to do it, yeah. not because somebody pushed us. And we never, as for, in my case, I never felt like I had to do it. I did it because I wanted to correct something, and that's it. But I don't think less of myself if I don't have the surgery. You're not hurting anybody else. You should yeah. have the ability to change and alter yourself however you want. Let's sit down because I, <laughs> I want to get underneath the surface, you know? Literally, what is underneath the. Yeah, let's go. Let's padding and let's, yeah. let's find the place. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can keep this damn wig on. No, you're not committed to the process. <laughs> I'm not right now. Uh, it's okay, take it out. I'm take committed it out. Take to it comfort. Out. I need to snatch this thing right off. Yeah! My <laughs> oh, oh my god, that feels so good. Yeah, right. Heavenly. <laughs> Now I can focus on this interview. Exactly. <laughs> now that you have this title of the human Ken doll, mm. is this something that you have enjoyed? No. And well, in the beginning, I didn't love it because I felt like it kind of dumbed me down and it made me sound kind of like narcissistic and superficial to people who didn't know me, who don't know me, right? I think like most people, if they had given me the opportunity to find me to be kind of very sweet and like genuine and personable and I don't think of myself as like some sort of snobbish person that's gonna make anybody else an outcast for not having plastic surgery or not living a certain way like I didn't grow up with any sort of money and things like that so I'm not judgy when I started having surgeries I never expected to be on television it, it, it wasn't necessarily a goal of mine it sort of just organically happened when you see negative comments of what goes through your mind no, you just have to look past it and try not to read it if they're still talking about you at least they're talking. How much money has it cost you? It's over a million dollars, right? A million dollars is a lot of money. Do you feel that it's all been worth it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just money. Money comes and goes. 
Or what else could you do with that kind of money? You can buy a house, you can buy a boat, a yacht, Whatever very expensive car. Yeah, I mean... A horse. So what you're saying you is... you can validate it, where right. if you feel like in your life things are important, then you make the time, the space, and the money for it. So you're getting more work done. Of course. It's like asking a painter, you know, to tell them like, oh, we already saw that painting, so can you just put the paintbrush down? Like you wouldn't tell them to do that, right? That's their method of being creative and their, their outlet. So I view this as my artistry. I just walk around wearing my canvas. I've never thought about it like that. Those who are engaging in a lot of work on them, Selves and their bodies and plastic surgery that it's an artistry. Uh, I think it's not that for everyone. Exactly. For me it is. Exactly. It is largely that. I think it's a multitude of different things, but I think that's definitely one of the big driving forces. I like to be like an innovator and like a pioneer and try crazy things that other people haven't yet done or innovate on ideas that are already out there. I was the first person in the world to have six-piece shoulder implants, four-piece back implants, eight-piece leg implants. While I'm doing them for a cosmetic sense, there's a lot of people that can use those in reconstructive ways. So with all the television stuff, I started getting a lot of people asking me about doing like a consultancy. Can you help me with this doctor? Can you help me design an implant? Because I designed all my body implants. You designed them yourself? I have custom made them. Right. Oh. Yeah. So I don't actually cut them, but <laughs> I designed the plans. I'm like all for body autonomy. Like you are in this body, you get to decide what you do with it. Exactly. And I understand a little bit deeper of why you do this. And I also just want people to feel comfortable and happy with who they are without needing oh, to change. You know? Well, no, I don't think, I, I didn't need, I don't want to say nobody no, needs, wanted. but I didn't need, but I want. I hope that people learn something from this video. And if there's anything you want to leave everybody with who's watching, what, what is it? Always be the best version of yourself. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. And don't let anybody judge you. Amen. <laughs> is Barbie empowering or problematic? I think that she's both. I think that she has come a long way since the time when I was little and playing with Barbie. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to enhance your appearance and look and feel the best version of yourself. And I feel like Barbie represents more than just that, but also the notion that you can be anything that you want to be, that you can achieve anything you want to, and that you have choices as a woman in this world. And that was the original intention of Barbie from the get-go. Personally, I don't think I can get behind the normalization and glamorization of plastic surgery, but what I can get behind is body autonomy. I really fully believe in that, that we have the choice to do what we want with our own body, and I stand behind that. In the case of Marcella and Justin, I do think that this has become an empowering thing for them. I really feel like I understand now a bit more of their perspective around it and why they've chosen to do this. Before we wrap this video, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have been on this journey with me and have seen Sky Life evolve. I know that the videos are kind of taking a different direction right now, but I just want you to know that this is really coming from my heart and from a place of curiosity and what I feel like my soul is here to create right now. I am so curious to hear your honest opinions on this, so please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on all of this. And if you want to continue the conversation, please come hang out with us in the Vibe Tribe Discord. That is it for this episode of Sky Life. I love you all so much and the adventure continues. Why waste your time working nine to five? We're so young, baby. We're flying through the sky.